Hi, today we're going to be taking an unboxing review of an Ozark Trail outdoor equipment. This is the four piece lighting and tool combo. So, what do you get in here? You're going to be getting your carabiner in there, your bit of light, your flashlight, and your potted, you know pair of pliers or something close to a Letterman or the uh, Gerber Bear Grylls you know mini P series or mini super P type of series type of tool yeah and what's cool is it does come with six AAA batteries so that's cool Here's the things on the flashlight, if I could get the can to focus. Yeah, Swim Lantern. I guess that's what this is called, Swim Lantern. Uh, it has free mo so it's flat design for easy carrying, free modes, high, medium, and low. Lantern, 150 lumens. One time, three hours. Beam distance is five meters. And then for the flashlight, It's going to be 30 lumens, 2 hours of one time with 20 meters of uh, beam distance, and your 12 in 1 multi tool, low nose pliers, standard pliers, wire cutter, knife, bottle opener, Phillips screwdriver, all, file, saw, medium slide screwdriver, small slide screwdriver, large slide screwdriver, and then you have a 6 centimeter, I guess that is, or CM carabiner. Safe workload SWL, which is safe workload, equals 60 pounds. Yeah. And, um, Walmart.com. So that link would be down below in the description there. So let's open it up, take a look at it, and then see what's going on. Now, some of you might notice that the lights are a little bit dimmer now compared to, you know, my other video. That's just because, you know, I kind of went ahead and turned some of the lights off just so we could kind of get a look at this. Where it wouldn't take that much time to turn the lights off and then turn on the lights back on. So, the video, wow, this is super duper swim. I thought it was going to be a lot fitter in the bots, but it is a swim a little better. Carabiner, but it just says uh, SWL, you know, safe workload equals 60 pounds, and then just not for climbing on the other side. Here's our flashlight, kind of a little mini one. Our pair of pliers, and our batteries which is kind of odd that we have a uh, Everbyte and Everbyte is in same brand same size but we have them in kind of like this goldish color and then the silver color which is odd considering that our other one that came with the uh, flashlight and headlamp com combo came with uh, Duracell batteries. So yeah, that's a bit odd. So just unscrew this. Which takes quite a while to unscrew. Pop this out. Let's open it up and put our berries in here. So one will go up, one will go down, and the other one will go down. I guess it was prion from the factory. Now on this one, you do need to uh, use a screwdriver to open up the battery door. So I'm going to grab my screwdriver here.
So according to the battery door, one goes this way, and then the other two will go this way. So. Guess where it goes. Forward, forward, and then towards the back. Uh, the battery it's, compartment's a little hard to get on there and slide it down in. And it does take a while to screw this down in there. And you do really want to screw it in there so that it lays flat. But not too tight to strip it. So uh, let's go ahead with just this little flashlight. It is kind of bright. So let me go ahead and turn off some of the lights here so that we can definitely see it. Not that bad, not that bad, I'll say. It is kind of you know, small in the hand. Uh, flows like okay, I would say. Let me go a little bit further in my basement. Yeah, it's just like the other one. Not that bad. Before I turn this one off, let's turn this one on. That's it's super bright mode. And because they use. Oxidized aluminum handle is definitely super lightweight. I mean, I'm gonna put a little carabiner on here if I can, and I can. So, yeah, you can even do it like this to hang it. Um, as far as the light source, um, it really doesn't give off that much light, you know, it's super bright. Maybe like in front of you, I say. If you're holding it high, maybe. Holding it low, maybe. Mid range. Like at mid height, no. Let me uh, go ahead and turn the power down a little bit. This would be medium light. Um, you know, maybe like if you're eating or something, and you don't really want to have like the super bright light on, like if you go outside the tent, medium light would be okay. And then this low light, I don't know, maybe like weeding, but you really have to have like your book up close and anything that's like below. The book, you really can't see it that much. So this would be more like, I don't know, maybe a safety light. Like if someone's stumbling and they want to be like, okay, where is the little zipper for the tent to open up the tent? Because, you know, they got to go, otherwise oh, like, hey, I don't care, this tent's coming down. I'm going to look like a bit old oogly boogly man, you know, type of deal. Just like, I'm a bit old green tent or red tent, whatever color tent type of ghost, you know what I mean? When you gotta go, you gotta go. You don't care about doors or anything. You're like, hey, I'll take a power knife and make my own freaking door on the side of the tent, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, the rest of you that's about to with me in the tent, you're gonna have a little something to stir. Maybe a wet, maybe a little bit stinky. So, uh, you wanna get that door open? It unzip that door for me? <laughs> so, yeah, that's about the only thing for this light. I thought this light was actually going to be pretty darn cool because, you know, I thought it was going to be like, wow, super bright light. And no, compared to the flashlight, no. So let me get those lights down because we still have the uh, little pot knife thing to flash. Not pot knife, but you know what I mean. Light. <coughs> So let me turn this off. That was really disappointing. This one actually surprised me. So, uh, pliers. Feel kind of weak in the spoon department. Um, let's see if we can get these things to open up and out of here. Nail picker, file. Actually, there's two different side types of files here. 
This is just your little crosshats file. This one's more of a fist scale type of file, as I call it. Your little all right there is what I believe that is. Um, your knife, which, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to be cutting with this. Maybe a piece of cord or something? But, yeah, that's not really a knife. I thought the knife was going to be as long as this, but no. That's not even, like, a pair of knife. I guess that's your long screwdriver there. Oh, here's a knife that's a little bit better. But, yeah, that is a knife there. And then you do get, you know... A bitter knife. An actual proper Phillips screwdriver head. Unlike the Barrel Grills one. Another screwdriver slash, you know, bottle opener. And let's see if we can get this last piece out. Yeah, your little saw right there. So, I mean, this one, the quality doesn't feel that good, but you do get an uh, actual Phillips head screwdriver on here. Don't know why the Bear Grylls one was so garbage. I mean, it looked like it was stamped from a mold, like a mold stamp type of deal. You know, where they put those pieces of metal in to a mold and then the punch stamps it. So if they wanted to get like this hole out, instead of sitting there and cut it, put it in a mold, pressure goes down, stamps, opens up. Well, now you got a little handle hole right here. It just looked horrible. It looked like you would actually have to take a sanding belt or a 